Hello, my name is Wendy and I'm a Mirai KSC for South Europe. Over the past years, I've been asked again and again very similar licensing questions that I would like to address in this video. So let's go. All right, let's start with one of our first most asked questions. Let's say I have three devices. In this case, for the sake of simplicity, we're going to take three MRs. One is one year license, second one is a three year license, and the third one has a five year license. How we calculate the co-termination expiration date is by taking the average of these three durations. In this case, it will be three years. Now you might be wondering, hey, that's unfair because I have an MR that has five year license. So you're actually like still in me two years, no? But the truth is that we're still in two years, but giving it to the device that had one year only. So that's why is the average durations. In real life, it's more complicated as we have different products with different weights, but always the same logic. We can always refer to the license calculator to see how much we have. Be careful as expiration date is not the same thing as grace period. Let's say I add a device into my organization and I forgot to add a license into this device. Um, so that means our organization enters the grace period. So no matter what co-termination expiration date you have, in this case three years, your organization is going to expire in 30 days. To solve this, what we need to do is to add a license in the mode of add devices. No matter which duration, it can be one year, three years, five years, we need to add a license to solve this. Now, what's the difference between app devices and renewals? Let's say I have an organization uh, which co-termination expiration days was in three years and I have arrived to the end of those three years. What we need to do is we need to get a renewal license. What it is, it's just a key that I'm going to add to renew all the whole of my devices. This concept also brings us nicely on how to achieve a four-year license, which is an SKU that is not available in the Cisco CCW. What we need to do is at the time of purchase, we will buy one license key that is going to include the MX, MS, MR for three years time. And we will add it into our organization in the mode of add devices because they never had a license before. Afterwards, we are going to buy another license for a one year um, SKU, so for MX, MS, MR, and we are going to add in the organization as renewal. In this way, we're going to have four years license. Now the millionaire's question, what happens when we con convert a co-termination to PDF per device license? Let's say we go back to our first example and I had these three MRs which I bought different durations. And because of co-term, um, they become three year co-termination expiration date. When we change to per device licensing, we keep the co-termination expiration date for all the devices. And then we separate each, let's say, license into a different section. That means that we are gonna get separate licenses for each device and all of them will have the same expiration date to start with. In the future, which is great about per device licensing, is that it gives us a lot of flexibility. Why? Because now that they're all separate entities, if I ever want to renew my per device licensing, so let's say I just want to renew my one MR instead of the two, I can do that. I don't have the obligation as I had in co-termination that I need to renew all of them mandatory. Here I can just uh, renew one, the green one, and that's it. I'm going to renew it for a year. Then the purple one, I'm going to renew it for two years. And then the yellow one, I'm going to renew it for five years. And that's fine. I do that and I can apply it into each of my devices. And the durations of each of the MRs will change accordingly. No average needed. Everything stays independently and separately. Another thing about per device licensing is that we don't have the grace period we talked about before. So let's say I add a device that doesn't have a license. That's fine. It's not going to affect 
my organization and my organization won't expire. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any further questions, feel free to comment or reach out.